So in this video, we'll be showing you how to make vegetable, vegan vegetable lentil dish with chapatis and a side of potatoes. Tastes than it looks. Okay, so we're going to start with pos making some chapatis and uh, this is a type of fried flat bread and uh, explain further. Okay, so the ingredients that I'm using to make my chapatis is wholemeal organic flour, uh, a little splash of extra virgin olive oil and about, about a tablespoon of cumin. So you just put it all in a bowl like that. So you get your oil, little splash, cumin, flour. So you can use any flour you want, you don't have to use the whole grain. It doesn't even have to be organic, but I recommend it. And all we're going to do is we're going to add some water uh, to the mix until it makes uh, quite a doughy consistency. So just go easy when you're adding it. Because if, it goes, if it goes too watery, you can always add a little bit more flour or if it's not water, if it's not doughy enough you can always add a bit more uh, or whatever it is you need. So mix it all together, check it all out. So this comes to like a, a bready consistency. Yeah, doesn't it? Like, a, like a, so it should be like a bread dough almost. Like a bread dough. It's going to be made bread dough, right? So we're just going to take it out so we don't stick. Yeah, so this is alright, we put just enough water in there, so it's a bit, tr bit of trial and error, so much water you need. So perhaps maybe a little bit more flour in mine actually, maybe just a tad, might be slightly too sticky. So once you've got it a nice consistency, something like that is fine. What you're going to do then is you need to knead it a little. So that just means beating the shit out of it a little bit until it's a little bit more. Nasty bit. Until it's a little bit more firm. Skinny vegetables is going everywhere. So while I'm beating the shit out of this chapati, which has now got a bit of grass in it, uh, Dave might want to show you the vegetables we're using in the dish. Okay, so this is a nice vegan lentil dish that we're going for. And I'll start with our ingredients. So we've got some salt, some pepper, and this is some lovely organic. What is this, boss? It's some uh, lovely organic stock. Yeah, vegetable stock. Vegetable stock. Vegan vegetable stock. Because some vegetable stocks have to be careful because they have a, they can have like whey powder in for some reason or milk sugar. Right, this is our first fry-off pile here. So this is your base, this is what you usually this want. This is what you start first with. So this is some red onions, there's two red onions there. Some half a leek. Some field mushrooms. So that's what you'd fry off first into the pan. Then we have, secondly, when you add the water, a yellow pepper, a tomato, some courgette, some broccoli, a carrot, and these are these lovely Chinese field mushrooms. Wild mushrooms. Wild Chinese mushrooms. But as a Chinese, they're much of the Asian. They're just Asian mushrooms, you know. And uh, I forgot to mention there's uh, some garlic hiding in here. Yeah, so you can use any vegetables you want really in this dish. This is the beauty of it. You can literally use any vegetables you want as long as you've got a base of onions and garlic, really. The deal is, the more veg, the better, really. The more flavour will be involved. This is, uh, this is some spring greens that we'll cut up afterwards. Yeah, they and wilt, they'll, they'll wilt afterward all the, the dishes cooked. These are some red split lentils. Organic organic and uh, like we say if you can buy organic buy organic it's, it's a whole lot better okay. 
and uh, that's the base of the dish and we shall proceed on to chapatis which are fried flatbreads and then it shall be on to the dish okay so which we know <laughs> when you've battered the crap out of your dough like really battered the crap out of it mine's still a tiny bit sticky but it should be all right you want to roll it into a sausage so this is really good for your hands gonna really act like a nice natural <laughs> moisturizer for, the, for your hands so you want to roll it into a nice sausage and then once you've got it into a nice long sausage you're going to section it off that should be enough so you're going to chop it into bits about the size of um, of a nice kiwi nice organic kiwi, none of these GMO kiwi okay. and then that will be going half again perhaps oh, goodbye <laughs> see you yeah, so you put them all aside because you only choose one at a time. So ideally, we could have about two each, shall we? Yeah, well, there's three of us in this one, two, yeah, that's it, there's two each. So it's just as well one dropped in the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it was meant to be. So, you want to flatten out your kiwi shape and you want to roll them out nice and flat. So, I don't have a rolling pin, so I'm going to use a glass. You can use whatever you like. And you're going to just roll it out. So a nice, it's going to be a relatively small one, I think. So you want to play with your kiwi sizes. So you want it about, I don't know, a couple of millimetres thick, perhaps. Do you not think they'll be too small or? Well, we're using a small frying pan, aren't we? Gonna... I suppose, yeah. We're, we're using this, uh, uh, this is our camp of our frying pan. So I right, guess so... it works. There's one. So you'd roll them all out, but I'm going to roll one out for now. Just to show you guys so, how it's going to work. Well, we are using the stove to cook the lentils because there's not enough room and time. We're going to cook them. Obviously, we try and use the log burner as much as we can. But this is uh, our backup sauce. I'm going to put the chapatis on here for now, just to save time. So a little bit of oil goes in. Maybe that might be too much for trial and error, like I said. Would you like to move this uh, plastic away from the fire? Yeah. Okay, so a bit of dough in there already, you go. So, get your... so every time you put a chapati in, put a little bit of oil in. Chapatis like oil, apparently. So, I'm gonna get that so it's. You want the oil so it's um, slightly smoke, uh, smoky hot, so I'm told. So, I'll tell you a little bit about this dish actually while we're waiting for that to warm up. Um, this dish is actually inspired by the Mobius Loop lot. Uh, they're a nice uh, vegan band, and if you want to check them out, uh, you can Google them, I suppose. So. A couple of them come, come down to stay and they cook something similar to this. So that's what's inspired us really. Uh, but they didn't have chapatis, they had uh, vegan pancakes, which are also nice. And we do cook those from time to time. So um, yeah, check Moby Sloop out if you're, especially if you're vegan, because they, they promote all that, uh, they promote all that kind of uh, animal rights, vegan stuff. So it's quite nice. So you don't want to cook these for very long. Few seconds on either, uh, few seconds on either side, so about 30 seconds maybe on each side. But you can keep flipping them just to, ch just to check how cooked they are. They smell good already. Yeah, they smell quite nice. Yeah. So this is like a type of flatbread, like a, in a sense, like a naan, but like more, yeah, it more of like a, a naan. more of a, like an org organic kind of wholemeal. Fried version. Fried version. I don't think they fry naans, do they? They cook them over something like an oven. I don't know. I suppose. Yeah, but this is this is the new version. <laughs> okay. So you don't want them to burn. Oh, there you go. We're getting some nice browning going on. It should suck up some of the oil as well. 
So it's always best if you're not sure you've never cooked these before, make make one extra so that you can, it can be your experiment. So say if you only need say if you need six in this case, make seven so you can experiment. Okay. So that's starting to brown now. So that's done. So we turn him out. And then we'd make the rest. So it's literally about 30 seconds on either side, is yeah, it? Yeah, so you can give it a flip a couple of times just to double check. But that's it. That's one done. So we don't need to um, video the rest of them, I guess. No. <laughs> so that's the uh, demonstration for the chapati. So I'll cook the rest and uh, Dave can move on to cooking the, the main. You want to fry them all off till they're like wilted and a little bit golden. And while Dave's frying those off, on the boil over here we've got some potatoes for the side because we quite like to bulk ours out with some finely diced potato. And the water in there we pre-boiled on the hob. We're just going to leave those to boil just until they're soft and leave them to the side. Here's our chapatis, finished. They should have a slightly chewy consistency when they're done. But no seasoning in those either apart from the cumin. So next to go in, once they're all golden brown, would be, what would you say Dave, the mushrooms and the peppers? I'd say the courgettes, well everything really, everything at this stage. You're going to put everything in? Everything at this stage can go in So we've got uh, we've got broccoli, courgettes, carrots, bit of tomato, wild mushrooms and peppers, but you can put anything you want in, honestly, you can put any vegetables you want in, and as long as you've got that onion and garlic base. To start, and you can believe put it or not, in. that's all got to fit into there. Yeah, well, we'll have to make it work, won't we? Yeah, so it should all wilt down eventually. Let's uh, give it a go. So, it is best to use a deep frying pan, I'd say. But, um, this is the deepest we can go to fit on the burner, really, because we've got a quite small burner. Yeah, it is quite small. We just throw all that in. Get the mushrooms in there, they look really nice. These Asian mushrooms. So also, if you can, we oh. throwing it everywhere. Try your best to support your local green grocer, your local health food shop, supermarkets. Uh, yeah, you can buy organic stuff, but just try to avoid supermarkets really, because uh, I don't know if you know anything about. I've been reading a book recently about farming and subsidies and supermarket giants and they're taking over everything it just doesn't sound good so if you can sort of support your local green grocer support organic support non-gmo you, oh you dropped one of the precious mushrooms that's fine five second rule for it in <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we try to use as much organic stuff as we can as much from the green grocers as we can Really, apart from the Asian mushrooms, you know, they don't, they don't take really a little zoom in, right. Ross. Yeah. You can see there's a lot of colour in there. Look how a fabulous lot, it is. A lot of goodness That's involved. Fantastic. So we're going to fry that off for about, about two minutes before we add the water. Yeah, you get these a little bit wilted. It's hard to actually uh, use a small frying pan on a lot of veg. It's like, but it is going to wilt fly down. everywhere. And, yeah, but we can work with that because it will eventually it will wilt down and go smaller and reduce and it'll be nice. Reduce, that's the word, not wilt down. The potatoes are going for it now. Could perhaps do with turners. So you could probably cook all this stuff on the log burner, but we don't have a big enough log burner, and for time's sake, we're cooking it on this little little gas burner here. But all the logs that we're using are from around the garden so they were free 
eco-friendly, fallen from the tree, chopped up. Hey buns, buns! Sorry, we, you can't go in the dish today, buns, because this is a vegan dish. Yeah, so all the uh, the logs and wood that we're using comes from around this big, beautiful garden. Ah, we need some water. Okay, we got some water down here. No, it's, it's all... Oh, we got the... That's right. That might not be enough water, but I'll get some more in a minute. Let me just... Uh... Okay. Okay, yeah, it's pretty about time now, isn't it? So now we're going to add some water and some stock to get all these boiling down right. Then we shall add some of this water. It suddenly goes quiet. Yeah, that's not enough water. <laughs> it's not quite enough water, no, but it's a good start. Right, so I'll just cut it here, put a bit some more water, then come back. So as you can see, we've added more water. So don't be shy on the water because all the lentils are going to go in there and soak up all that water, so don't be too shy. It kind of helps if your van's not on a tilt as well. So the water gathers on this side. Yeah. Compared to this side, but yeah. it's not it's not really a problem. It's still all covered with water. It's not the end of the world. So we're going to let that boil. And, well, well now. Uh, see that it's simmer, but you can't really uh, control the temperature on the blog burner. So just let that boil. I do. You simmer. put a, a lid on it. Yeah. Let it simmer. But now we are going to add some vegetable stock. So this is the vegetable stock we're using from the health store. This is a bouillon, I think you pronounce it. Bouillon. Bouillon. Swiss vegetable bouillon powder, uh, vegan friendly apparently. Adds a so lot of flavour to the dish. Don't be, don't this is your main ingredient really. Yeah. It adds a lot of flavour to Apart it. Apart from the veg. Well yeah. <laughs> but I mean there's a lot of flavour to it involved. It's, you need this. So don't be shy. Because you can always taste it afterwards, give it a good taste and see what you think of the flavour. You can always add more. But remember you can't take As you it can out see, there's a lot it. of season there, but that's good. A lot's, a lot's good. Yep. Yep. Just give that a slight mix in because it's quite full. Mm. It smells good too. There's nothing better than the smell of veg. It's cooking. So you do want ideally a lot of colour in your diet. I mean, you know, different coloured vegetables and fruits uh, have different colour, uh, have different uh, minerals in them and and, and veg uh, vitamins and such. So gre dark green things like the broccoli will have a lot of iron in. Orangey things like the carrots will have vitamin C in. Uh, what else is there? Anything that's um, anything that's red and purple has a lot of antioxidants in. Um, obviously, there's a lot of uh, stuff in there that's good for your gut as well. Going to help you go to the loo regularly. Um, and obviously, you want your starches and your proteins. That's so we've, we've got, got the, uh, potatoes. potatoes. We've got um, chapatis, and then for our proteins, we're going to have lots of lentils. I think it's about time to have the lentils ready, is it? Uh, about now. Yeah, so we're going to add some lentils. So don't be shy on the lentils, you know, at first. It's another one, it's like a, say you add a rice or a pasta to a dish. It's like, this is the, the main the main uh, stock to the dish, it's uh, lentils. Yeah, it's going to bulk it, it's going to give it some bulk. bulk it out. We're slightly about, well, we're just about to overflow, but we'll give it a go. Yeah, so. Don't be shy with the lentils. They're going to soak up all that water. Oh, there we there go. There we go. We'll catch that. <laughs> Save it for later. Stock that up. I don't want to tilt the pan to one side for a second while it absorbs. No. I can't do all, all at once. So after a short argument about water levels, 
we've, <laughs> we've uh, corrected it while I spill a little bit out. So yeah, definitely make sure your van isn't on a wonk when you park. I've also devised a way to help it simmer so it's not on direct heat by adding this little grill underneath. So usually we use this for toast, so we usually put that grill on and then we put toast on top of the grill so the bread's not on the direct heat. So it also gives that same, same effect to help the, the dish simmer. So uh, Dave always gets carried away with stirring the dish. Uh, you don't need to do that, you can let it simmer on its own for about five to ten minutes. And we've, a we've actually added uh, some more lentils as well, we felt there wasn't enough. So what we're going to do now is we're going to leave that there, we're going to let it simmer until the lentils swell up. Oh lovely, that's very nice, I'll have to double up as a spoon holder. Um, so we're going to leave it there until the lentils swell up and the carrots and the broccoli are a little bit softer. And we'll wipe up the mess we've made. Yeah, we'll wipe up the, the mess uh, down here as well. So. Excess water. So log burning, cooking, is fun, but messy. Messy if you haven't got a big, big enough pan, I guess. So now is about the time you should add, start adding your um, your leafy greens or your spinach or for instance we've got uh, spring greens or cabbage or whatever. This is about the time they're going to wilt down and you just literally fire them on top. Add them on there, let them soak in, they'll wilt down within about five minutes the dish should be done. And. Uh, yeah, just fold it in. Serene in here. <laughs> it smells absolutely divine. Just now you can see that the consistency of the um, the dish is starting to reduce down and starting to come into a bit of a, like a gooey mixture. This is what we want for the for the shipatis. Yeah, basically use it as like a pitta, add your sauce to it. Yeah, good. just shovel, shovel some you. food onto the chapati and shove it in your mouth. We've turned the potatoes off now because they're done. So leave them in the water to keep them warm. I and mean, when they're ready, we'll tip the water off and we'll add them to the side of the dish. So we're going to give this another five, ten minutes, then we'll be dishing up. Ooh, excited! So when you get to this consistency, this is when you know you're done. It starts getting thick and gooey and all the flavours and uh, ingredients em emulge together. So this is what... Is that a new word? It's, that's a new word, emulge. <laughs> you know? Inventing things all the time, aren't we? Mm. <laughs> so, uh, this is what we're going for. This is what we want, this is the consistency. So the simmer rack has worked quite well, actually. It's, yes, it's a good simmer rack. It's not too hot, it's not too cool. It's just a just slow, gets rid of the direct a heat. slow simmer. And this is what we need for the, uh, the end of the dish. So what we're going to do now, we're going to dish up. We're going to dish up and we'll show you the end result in just so a moment. this is the outcome. This is the, the final dish. These are the shit patties, some potatoes. These are Cypriot potatoes. Cypriot from Cyprus. Cyprus potatoes. And this is the, the final dish, which is the lentil vegan dish. It's uh, all good. It looks quite peasant-like, but it tastes like a dream. Enjoy!